Hello and <clears throat> welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Swords and Sandals, Immortals. Now, uh, I already played this game. I actually already tried it um, about a year ago. Um, it's been a while. And uh, the developer has been very hard at work uh, posting some updates and, and getting the game ready for 1.0. And it's uh, finally out. 1.0 is, is released. And probably by the time this video goes up, it will have already been said and done for a few days, maybe even a week. Um, so there's a lot to talk about in this game. This game is quite dense. It's quite deep and it's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it when I played it at the time, even in its very unfinished and unpolished state. So I'm very excited to try it again. I do know that it's got a lot of systems and a lot of things to kind of root through. So what I'm going to be doing with this video is I'm going to be recording for, uh, well, I'm going to be playing this for a few hours and I'll be doing some skips here and there so that you see, um, some of the deeper systems in the later parts of the video. You'll be able to find a link in the description um, for this game if you're interested in trying it out. Um, and uh, code was provided by the developer. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. So without, with all of that out of the way, let's um, start a new campaign. Uh, we're going to go with normal, 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 default, 300 days, permadeath off, maybe... I don't know, maybe if this is a very popular game and people want to see more of it, then I'll, I'll try and do some MLG business. Um, I am going to skip the story. Uh, basically, there is like uh, the equivalent of Frieza um, heading towards our planet to uh, destroy it, and we have to train up a gladiatorial uh, kind of character uh, strong enough to, to take on God, basically. And uh, it's, it's amazing. Um, there's a lot of different races to pick from. I kind of forgot about this. <clears throat> there was uh, skeletons and ogres and and all kinds of stuff. And then, uh, okay, so this at the top gives us a little bit of flavor. Halion is plus two bonus agility. Um, Namoron. Kragite from Bargles Land. <laughs> Hardy mountain people who have adopted to survive in the most extreme climates. Um, you take an extra 10% damage from lightning attacks. So they all have a weakness. They all have benefits, for sure. I, I kind of like these tree people. You take more damage from axes, that makes sense. I was going to say fire, but yeah, th th that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's go with the tree person. Daisy, the tree person. Um, uh, they're a flora a flora lisk. Alright. Species Floralisk. Oh, we can we have a better. Oh, that's a different Floralisk Floralisk. Oh, okay. So there's uh, there's different flavors of Floralisk. Interesting Cool, uh, I, I like this guy. He looks pretty cool um, Poison Ivy sure 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 and uh, your height will actually um, Change your stats slightly which I think is pretty cool uh, Along with your weight, I guess because you get more health if you're heavier uh, but then you you take more time to do your your basic stuff. I'm gonna go with a very average uh, height or weight because I'm, I'm I'm very uh, lame about these things. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go on. Um, <clears throat> now I believe I played a warrior last time. Wouldn't mind trying something a little bit different. We could try like a, you know what? How about we go with like a light person, and we'll go with like a uh, high dodge. We're gonna make a very we're gonna make a rogue. Like a ninja rogue, that sounds like fun. Let's try that, and we'll uh, buff, bu bump up our agility a little bit, um, and our vitality, and uh, of course our attack. I'm not going to worry too much about our strength. Um, I'm hoping that this is correct. I'm not going to worry too much about it if it's not. I'm trying to. I am rushing through a little bit of this because I want to get through uh, to to some of the systems and and see some of the stuff that I have uh, I missed the first time around. Um, I seek glory and power beyond my wildest dreams. I wish to save our world from unimaginable evil, not for myself but for others. That's probably what I picked last time, but I like it still. So um, we have some of these benefits. I think stars is probably the way to go. I'm not sure. I, I think we use that to upgrade our, our gear. Standard, this arena has no special rules to defeat your enemy. Um, all right, so in camp. We'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll do a couple of combats and then I'm gonna skip ahead to a, a couple of, like maybe an hour or so later. Brandor, I am Fight Selector 386. I remember you. 
I really got to say, I, I like the art a lot in this game. And I know that the uh, the roots of Swords and Sandals has, uh, they're, they're very um, primitive, to put it lightly. I mean, th this game has been around for a very long time. And I mean, I've talked to people that, uh, you know, they, they say that, you know, this is a... Uh, this was their childhood, basically. Like I was playing um, kind of Edmund McMillan's Flash games uh, in in like lunch school, and you know, like when I was supposed to be doing better and more important things, like learning how to, uh, you know, do do stuff. You know, well, I don't know what people do, but they do it. You know, <clears throat> so I have photosynthesis, uh, cleanse a random negative status effect. Okay, that's cool. Let's uh, we'll do like a quick attack. So yeah, I was playing. I was playing um, Edmund Edmund's game. I I, I kind of missed Swords and Sandals. I'm sure I came across it at one point or another. Um, so this 58% is like how likely we are. I remember now. This like takes more um, essence cost. This takes more energy to do, and it has less of a chance to hit. But if it does hit, it hits hard. But I kind of like the idea of this uh, lunge attack. I wonder if we could do like a, a walk back. Oh wow, he did a jump forward and struck. There's not only, um, like, uh, we're not just trying to kill our opponent, there's also kind of a morale, uh, morale game where you're, like, trying to demotivate them. I think it's this yellow bar. So they actually, they have quite high, high uh, morale right now. Let's do, like, a smack. They broke my uh, breastplate off. That's not good. Let's do, uh, like, another lunge attack. That's going to completely use up all of our energy, though. So maybe... Let's just do, like, a medium attack. Um, Holy heal. Call upon the powers of good to restore 48 health once per battle. We're probably going to have to do a rest. Because that's going to give us a little bit of our energy back. And then even passing the turn, we're going to get some energy back. Uh, and then I'm going to do a lunge. Because the lunge is pretty good. Our, our morale is increasing quite quite uh, well. Use skill. We have skills. Shadow and Dust. You do not have enough essence to use a skill. Um, I'd like to know what it is. Secret Rogue Technique where you lose 10% of your health but regain 50% of your essence. That sounds like fun. So we gain a bunch of essence. More than if we had uh, rested. And then we can use our Shadow and Dust. Attack your enemy for 29 damage and then leap back. Smack. Ooh, that was cool. We uh, slay your enemy or spare their life. We get evil and but plus ten percent gold. Nah, I want. I, I'd like to. I'd rather have the XP anyway. But you know, let's let's be a good person. Why not? Next level reached. Solid. You've defeated your first opponent. Congratulations! This incontrovertible fact that your enemy was inferior and had no business being here today. So again, I'm going to, I'm sorry, uh, Dev, if you, if you end up watching this, I'm going to be skipping through the, some of the story a little bit. Um, the, there's a lot to look at this, and, and, and I'm sure that 1.0 has brought even more stuff that I'm going to have to check out. So I'm going to be skipping a lot of the storyline. Um, it isn't necessary for, you know, to, to enjoy the game, although it is a nice flavor. Um, you're kind of like a rise from rags, uh, you know, standard kind of stuff, um, and you're trying to, I love that you're, like, basically trying to defeat God, like, he is, like, a star destroyer, planet eater kind of, kind of character, <clears throat> and so you're, you're really trying to, like, race to becoming, like, Goku and, and, and destroy them, um, defense versus melee and range, we could probably stand to have some defense, so let's go ahead and, and throw some points on defense, uh, and now we get to pick our, uh, we, oh, this, I think this is adventure is new. Um, I think the, these are maybe not as good for combat. Gain discount on items, gain an extra two stars at the end of each day, increase your success chance at all adventures. Okay. So this is some for uh, the adventure mechanic that I haven't, I, I don't think I've explored that yet. Um, warfare is obviously pretty cool, but we could get like Bowmaster because you know our our character is uh, agility based and a ranged uh, attack might be good. Um, survival sounds like if we want to make a bard, but like acrobatics could be good. So um, let's go ahead and take a uh, let's take Bowmastery. 
We'll take bow mastery and then we'll see if I can't buy a bow at some point. I played a, a game really recently that kind of reminded me a lot of Swords and Sandals, actually, which was called... I'm going to forget the name of it, of course. Um, it was... Oh, yeah. Uh, we Who Are About to Die. I don't know how I could forget that name. But it uh, it had a similar-ish um, kind of vibe from uh, from this game. Give me one moment. In that you were, like, trying to uh, kind of raise up a, a, gladi a gladiator and uh, impress people and, and it had some really satisfying progression. <clears throat> so we're going to talk to our weaponsmith here. He's going to offer us some new uh, weapons, obviously. I'm not sure how we can look at our weapons. Um, there's a very easy way of doing this, of course. Oh, that's uh, so we, we can look in list or in icon form. That's kind of nice. This is our info. So this is what we got right now. We have a level one shank. So just about anything would be better than that. So we're definitely going to buy that dagger. Enter code. Yo, I, I should have I should have uh, asked the uh, developer for a cool code so I could get a, a unique weapon. Dang. Shoot. You know, like that's that's what separates the uh, the YouTubers from the influencers, you know. Um, so I guess I just spent all my money on a dagger, but that is totally OK um, because we're definitely going to make use of that dagger. Uh, we already equipped it. Can we sell this? Equip in main hand. I was wondering if we could dual wield. Be kind of nice. Um, let's sell our old shank. Not for sale. You cannot sell this item. Okay. All right. Let's go and do. Uh, let's go fight something else. Fight selector. So here you get an option of, uh, you know, who you want to fight. And your goal here is basically to fight all of these people. You need to kill all of these people in order, well, not kill, you know, fight, defeat them. You need to defeat all these people before you can fight the regional champion. And uh, so you're basically trying to raise up, um, you know, enough uh, experience to, to fight the champion. Now, to be fair, I, I guess I misspoke. I'm not trying to defeat all of these people, um, but really four people. Uh, when you rest you'll get a new set of new champions so you can you can continue grinding on like low power score um enemies in order to kind of raise your stats and grind up a little bit i've talked about grind on this channel quite a lot and i think that this game has a really good sense of grind because the progression is satisfying and the combat and the actual gameplay is like really fun so it doesn't feel like grinding it just feels like more more good gameplay you know so i'm gonna fight this guy here this level two barbarian Skip to fight. I like that that's an option. We can get right into it. Roll four or higher to attack first. Ah, oh, I didn't do it. Can't believe it, honestly. Um, so we're not close enough. You're too far away. He, he, he was smart. He was smart and he uh, moved away. So we're going to do a lunge attack to bring ourselves closer. He did defend, though. He did a jump. Good. That was a good jump, honestly. So now we're going to use our Shadow and Dust. I'm stressed out, so I think that I've I, I maybe used up used too much of my stuff right away. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my Blood Pact, so we, we take some damage, but we get some energy back. Now I'm going to do um, Lunge Attack. He defended against it. He's, this guy is a very good at defense. Let's do a quick attack. There we go. Or, or we finally did some damage. Um, I'm not sure. Do we, we don't have any negative effects right now, but we don't need anything else. So let's um, let's do uh, just a normal rest. Oh, he uh, he shot me. Wow, this guy's re got. He he's really good at defending, and he's like taking me out here. All right, let's do another blood pact. And we're gonna do I'm gonna do um, a medium attack since it's an 83% chance to succeed. Let's do um, a quick attack because I'm I'm going honestly by like how likely it is because it's 90%. I believe it's not just like how likely we are to hit, but how likely we are to break through his defenses. Mm. So he moves back. I'm going to continue doing this. Oh, we can't do this blood pact. It's on cooldown. Okay, so why don't we do... Uh, we'll do a rest. Ouch! That was pretty nasty. 
let's um oh this there's maybe a kind of a bug going on here it's it's flashing quite a lot when i hover over an item i'll have to talk to maybe i can talk to the dev about that um smite your enemy with a righteous attack that inflicts 52 damage i didn't know this was an attack i thought it was a heal i thought it was holy heal not holy smite but good enough let's try that Ooh, and it succeeded I managed to defend. I think if I'm farther back, maybe I have a better chance of defending. We're gonna do a lunge forward. He's really good at defending. Um, we should be able to use our blood pact again. We've done more damage to ourselves than to them, honestly. Let's do a rest. Um, defend chance reduced by 50% while resting. Let's do, we'll do a lunge, trivial. Um, and we have, well, we don't have a high chance of hitting him, so I'm inspired. Maybe that'll give us a better chance. No, we'll just continue pecking away at him. He's, uh, he's sleepy. We'll do another blood pact. We've taken a lot of damage from that. Um, I might need to heal myself. Uh... Regain 80% of your health over four turns. I mean, this uh, photosynthesis might be a good idea. It's going to take a little bit. Of, ooh, well, we gained some health back. But we're going to continue ga gaining uh, health from that, so that's pretty good. We'll lunge forward, and oh, wow, he's, he's just, like, really good at blocking that. All right, let's um, continue poking him. I think we're going to win this. That photosynthesis is good. We can only use it once, but we only need to use it once, and it lets us continue using our uh, blood pact. Wow, he's like blocked every uh, stab, like a lunge attack. So I guess. Oh, I cannot be defeated. So he's 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 given up. I think we won the morale game. We're definitely gonna spare. Automatons grant you 420 gold and 13 experience. All right, so at this point, um, I think you've seen what combat looks like in the early game. I'm gonna I'm gonna play for like an hour, and we'll see uh, how things have developed an, an hour from now. All right, I've been playing for about a half an hour now, and uh, I I have gained some new skills. I have gained some armor. Um, actually, I have enough to buy some more armor, and we have our armorer now. Um, so this is there's this new forging mechanic. I'm not sure uh, how this works yet I don't know if uh, Maybe the I guess we'll need a blueprint in order to do that So I'm not sure how that's gonna work um, and the game hasn't done really gone out of its way to, to explain it Which is fine because I don't think that it's relevant just yet um, We're I, I will say um, something I wish I had is like a another panel here that showed me the equipment I have what I've been doing is going to sell equipment so that I can kind of compare. Um, but uh, I, I think that the, a more elegant solution could potentially be offered. Um, so we've got level seven stuff now. I could buy, uh, let's see, actually, if we could buy like um, shoulder guards would be nice. Helmet, I don't know if I have a helmet. I think I don't have a helmet. All right, that looks really dumb, I'm gonna say. <laughs> And not in a not in a bad way like it looks hilarious But I I just appreciate how how, how not good that looks on our character so um, <clears throat> We do have this training dummy here. Um, this guy will offer us uh, Offer to teach us new skills at the cost of those stars. So I'm glad that I took those stars um, Those stars are something we're gonna be getting um, for more for like milestone achievements rather than like defeating uh, regular Joes. I'm not going to take on the champion just yet. I'm going to do one more uh, normal combat. Um, I guess I don't, I don't think this guy is a regional champion. Uh, you have I have won enough combats now to do the regional champion, but uh, my general philosophy on these things is I'm not going to unless I know for sure I can win. Wow, nine or, or higher. That's crazy. So we do have some uh, new skills. I have attack torso. We have a bow and arrow now, and I'm, I've gone full ranged. So the shadows and dust skill is great because it's just like immediately like I get a, to, to do a jump back and also do some damage. And you can only hit with the bow. You can only attack with the bow if you're like, a f you know, a, a couple of steps away, basically. So I'm going to be doing some quick attacks. I like to do the quick attacks because they have the highest chance of success. Um... 
no we're gonna we're, we're too close they they love to you know especially melee users they like to get up in your grill and that makes sense right so what i like to do is back up and i don't think that this offers more defense potential but i've raised my defense and bought enough armor that my defense is pretty good so they wear their, themselves out a little bit by uh attacking and then we you know basically wait for our shadow and dust to come back so we can get uh get the distance and then we can do a major attack so there we go that's sort of what that looks like and um meanwhile like the quick attacks uh, like we can do a lot of them for very little essence and um it, it kind of wears on their morale and while when they're like you know trying to throw in hits that don't land they they also lose on their morale so we're unfortunately too close and we don't have our um blood and dust uh, skill yet but i uh, i think we're good now i also have this attack torso this is like basically there's a bunch of these that are like aim for head aim for torso aim for legs and there's um you know things that will happen like debuffs that'll occur if you if you do that enough wow i can't believe we didn't get pull pull that through um we'll do night wow this guy is doing a great job of defending right now so he rested that means we have a, a good chance to put something big through so let's do a power attack there we go and that's gonna that's gonna do it for this combat get some more money and so yeah you get like one star per combat um not a lot you'll get i'm i'm sure i'll get more for defeating the champion we can take on the champion um i'm, I'm game to do that let's try the champion i'm sure they're gonna be pretty tough i seem to recall they're like much more difficult than the the regional dudes that you're you're fighting huge charles we are a level higher than them but they have a higher power score than we do so uh you know this could go either way i did have a really close combat and actually lost one um which was i, I kind of wish i had ca caught it on uh, on camera because it was it was pretty cool so we he he smacked us away thou art stinky wow rude words rude words uh, honestly so he has stunned us which means that he gets to do another attack yeah as, as i feared this guy's got some really good um skills but we are still far enough away that we can do some quick attacks breastplate he's like dismantling our armor bit by bit um necrotized all attacks do half damage taking extra necronic damage okay um can we throw a medium attack at him yes we actually hit that and now he moved closer which means we can do our shadow and dust thou art stinky so he's like kind of got some bard skills um we don't have attack torso so i'm just gonna do i'll do a medium attack why not yeah that's why not um let's do some quick attacks before he closes the gap he did a sonic fart or burp attack there's like a fart and burp attacks that are, are pretty uh pretty powerful which is a thing i have said now so if, uh, he's he's resting and that gives him a little bit of his health back but now we can do like a power attack let's try a power attack it's only 50 six percent but it'll almost destroy him and he's still resting i think we may have won this let's try and win with a, a quick attack nope um shadows and dust is still on cooldown but he didn't manage to close the gap so now we're gonna do our medium attack nope stress this could go either way oh he's resting so now yeah medium attack will go through for sure so i did oh is that supposed to be critical it does it does look like him actually now that i've thought about it. it's charles yeah okay it's charles critical that's that's really fun um <laughs> is that why i'm gonna get in trouble for saying this maybe is that why he's so short <laughs> he's a really short lad <laughs> uh love 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 that um so we defeated the first regional champion and that means we get to move on to the next area claim two rewards um so we can get take some potions plus one intellect i don't think i'll be using that we could take this club it might be good money but i honestly feel like the money is like if here's the my question is if the hammer sells for more money than they're offering then what's the point in that right uh, i will take the stars because those are that's a really good uh, progression there like the stars are are just like hard progression everything else is kind of a soft progression 
Huge Charles has been defeated at your hands, which, uh, that was a thing of beauty to watch. We're making our way to Shackleford, a large, larger town, several d a days ride. So, um, this is thing where, this is where things are going to open up a little bit because we get to see, uh, the, the world and there is quite a lot of world. And I, I have to say, um, this is, you know, this impressed me when I, uh, played it the first time, but like what a lot of game there is in this, like the, the mechanics, they feel simple. Um, but they, there are, there, there are depth. There is depth. Um, there's quite a lot of depth. And in meanwhile, like we can, um, you know, we do this like traveling and we kind of reveal more of the map and we'll have like a little events that occur. I don't know if it, if there was supposed to be an occur, uh, uh, um, an event there, but here's, here's the interesting thing. So there's 300 days before basically like Frieza comes and destroys earth, right? Um, so we have 300 in-game days to uh, train up enough before we can fight Frieza. I know he's got an in-game name. I, I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm making this relatable for all, all my nerdy anime fans. So, um, here's the interesting thing though: is that traveling between towns and between like places where there are regional champions and stuff, um, that takes in-game time, like five days. So you really got to pick your moments, right? You got to, you actually have to strategize a little bit. There's almost like a little bit of a Rome total war in this game. I know the, the, the gameplay itself is completely different, but the kind of overworld map, um, you have to, you have to kind of choose your moments and, and strategize a little bit about how you are going to progress your character as quickly as possible. Now there's, um, you've not gone on an adventure here. I want to check out the adventure because this is something that I don't think was really finished when I played it. Uh, wait, I guess I, I do remember this. Head into the burning distillery and retrieve the barrel of whiskey. Refuse the woman's request. No barrel is worth risking your life. Oh, no. It will always risk our life for, for whiskey. Covering your head with wet, rag, wet rags, you head towards the distillery. The front door is ablaze, but you notice that wooden arched window to the side. The stonework up to it is rough hewn and perfect for climbing, so you rapidly ascend and kick the window open. Yeah, we are very um, agility-based, so that actually kind of makes sense. I wonder if there had been, like, other things like other potential prompts if we hadn't had that two burly fellows assist you in lowering the barrel to the ground and away to safe safety ever grateful the whiskey distiller uh rewards you with a small bag of stars fantastic so we have already completed the adventure at this location so we're going to go ahead and go to the encampment and the encampment is going to be much the same as the old encampment i think maybe the location will be slightly different and uh, we do get yeah we get this uh, character i believe she will cast um teach like hexes and curses and stuff like that scary stuff i gotta i really gotta say i i love the art design in this game it's it's very very polished and it's just pleasant to look at and uh it's you know just like kind of a kind of a nice just a joy to, to look at i want to check out this enchantress she's got um so she'll reset your talents at a, at a cost i'm sure and then oh because she enchants things so it could potentially enchant stuff, but I need to have runes and I don't have runes. Will she sell me runes? She'll sell me potions and then eventually she will sell us runes, but we need to do other things first. Oh no, the, these are available to us maybe. Uh, plus four bonus poison damage. Chance to poison effect. Take this to the enchanter. To, okay, so can we buy this? Yeah, item purchased. I wonder why these are red. It seems um, kind of a, you know, in i don't know maybe maybe we can buy it but maybe we can't use it yet so if i can uh well i don't have enough well i do have enough so i'm not sure why i can't do this that rune is too high level for you to use i cannot enchant uh enhance this item without causing serious damage to you okay so that's why um so we're all good there i i understand what we're doing there I do wonder, um, does our armor friend, will he sell us blueprints? Because I wouldn't mind buying some blueprints. No, apparently not. Um, we could buy some armor. I kind of want to save our money for now. Let's see if maybe... Uh, I, I, I know I said I want to save my money, but let's see if the weaponsmith has some new... A new bow for us. He's got a guitar. Ah, ash bow. Well, that's very expensive. Damn. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Um, all right, well, we'll we'll save that much. I'm sure we'll make a, a bit more money when we train here. We are going to level up. I'll show you a little bit about what I've done to our character. I've uh, it, it pays a lot to do stamina. Stamina is probably like one of the best things you can take. Obviously, stamina. I mean, defense is going to be good as well. Um, 
I took a little bit of strength, but that's only because I was doing more melee at the time. Um, so I'm going to take one stamina and then one more agility. And agility is very good for us, obviously, because it does more range damage. Um, and then hopefully the more we take agility, eventually we'll, we'll be able to move back a lot quicker. Uh, and I have taken quite a lot of bow mastery. I'm wondering about some of these other, I guess we can do some of these other ones, uh, at post level eight. That makes sense to me. I also did take some acrobatics, but, um, jumping doesn't ever really seem worth it to me. So let's go check out our new combat and we'll do like one more combat and then I'm going to do like another pause and then maybe when uh, some more systems reveal themselves um, We will oh, this guy also has a bow that kind of scares me if I got to keep his bow that would be kind of nice uh, When with some new systems reveal themselves then I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show them off All right, so I'm assuming so since we get to go first we we get that cool advantage of that first like blood and dust attack he did a yell, and it didn't really have much effect on us. We can do a medium attack at 55%. Ah, dang. Ah, and he's got some some cool attacks. Let's do some quick attacks to lower his morale. And actually increase ours, that's the important part. I don't know how I feel about the, the camera. Um, follow hero, follow enemy, zoom. I think I might prefer this although i don't know how i feel about that either original what is okay let's uh, let's original might be what i want no i i kind of don't like how wiggly it is i don't i wonder if there's maybe a uh some options special effects on screen shake let's try screen shake off animated ui on uh we could tr keep that on for now Loading screens. What do you mean loading screens on? You turn loading screens off? Um, all right, we'll try that for now. But uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of like how much the camera moves around. All right, I wouldn't mind like, instead of like panning, we had an option where it like zoomed out a little bit. So, uh, as I predicted, we get a lot of money for um, completing battles in this. And actually, fighting ranged heroes might be the way to go because they never want to tr uh, to close the distance um, for us. So, we can just continue wailing on them with our bow, which is our, you know, major advantage. 286 days. It's a lot of game. Like, I know that the, that, that number is going to decrease a lot once we have to, like, travel halfway across the world. Uh, and, you know, like, it, it'll take a lot of in-game time to do that. But still, it feels like a lot of, uh, a lot of time and a lot of game to, uh, you know, to, to go, to go through. And a lot of things to kind of, like, work through. Prepare for battle. All right, let's do one more of these. And then, uh, as I say, I'll do another pause. Um, I like getting the, that, like, that high roll. I might want to, like, increase whatever... Um, ability score or talent that uh, gets, gives us a better chance at to, um, going first because that first blood and dust skill is like highly worth it especially when we're up against uh, another ranged user because it means we, we have like like that blood and dust skill has a, a huge chance to hit and then we immediately have our like distance I love like how often we we dodge attacks and defend and stuff oh okay he well, I mean, he broke off my armor as if that matters at all. I mean, it, it does, obviously, but still. Nice. It's going very well. Um, okay, so he's rested. That means we do a power. Actually, let's, uh, let's attack the torso. Nice. Um, he's hitting us pretty hard right now. We could do a smite. That's 91 damage. 55% chance? Yeah, let's try it. That did hit him, but it, it apparently a god could not penetrate that guy's shoulder guard, so that's pretty good. He is affected by some kind of uh, holy debuff as well. I'm going to do a photosynthesis here, just uh, out of caution, because he is hitting us a little bit, and we also we have like no armor left. 
let's let's continue with medium attacks I, and like i've been leveling up uh stamina a lot so that lets us do a lot more like you know big attacks without oh man we were one xp short of leveling up um the big attacks without having this like slow down at all so um i'm gonna do another pause here but before i do i'm gonna go ahead and buy that ash bow just to you know show that off actually can we yeah i i could have sold this vibrating small hammer i actually feel like i should keep it because there is a skill to be able to uh swap weapons so i'm i'm a little bit curious about that this will only sell for 300 so actually taking the gold reward would have been better than taking the hammer reward oh well you know live and learn uh, i actually appreciate that that you know is a uh, is a fact in the game so we'll, we'll take this better bow and um I'll, I'll see you i'll see you real soon all right a few skills later a few one or a few victories later um we're ready to take on maybe the regional champion i'm i'm this will probably be close i don't know if i've got the chops to to take this on sir atlas is the eldest son of the legendary defender of brandor baron wolfgang they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree but where wolfgang had a something something it's all gone i thought i read that pretty quick but um yeah, never mind maybe maybe i need to go back to school is this uh is this another youtuber that i'm not aware of brandor will know me as more than wolfgang's boy i wonder if a lot of these are in in references that i don't know and i'm not going to get uh, this uh, arena, by the way, in this area has is has got a gimmick that I didn't really show off, which is that there's a cliff at both ends. So um, I've actually taken um, this grappling skill, which um, if I succeed it, will let me swap with my my opponent, which is something I really need because you can get like really kind of hemmed in um, against the cliff, and then you're basically like screwed. You can't do anything. So we're gonna start with our good old-fashioned blood and dust. He's he's apparently resting, which is an interesting and bold move. Um, let's hit them with some medium attacks. They jumped in. Um, can we do? Well, we can't do a hamstring. I should have started with a hamstring. That would have been good. So um, I get. Wait, can we use a grapple? You cannot use this skill without a melee weapon equipped. What? That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, well, I guess I should have taken that swap uh, my with my uh, ranged my swap my range and, and melee weapon. So um, this could probably mean the end already without really trying. Yeah, there, here here it comes um, holy heal blood pact. I could try jumping. No. Uh, let's let's try again. Oh, I actually pulled it off. I can't believe it. Um, I really don't know how jumping works too well, but I managed to pull it off. So let's start with a blood and dust. Wow, that didn't really work the way I intended. In fact, there's kind of a weird thing going on right now. Let's back up. Um, and now I want to use my... I will, I will say, I, I find it confusing how the skill buttons, all of the buttons will kind of swap uh, around when you're on the other side of the opponent. So I want to do a hamstring, 90%, and knock him back. We are taking some damage here. Um, let's do another. Why is it moving me closer to him? That's exactly the opposite of what I want. Um, all right, we're going to have to back up. Ouch. Calm. Okay, well, let's let's back up. And do we have any skills we could use? We could do another. Let's try hamstring again. That actually does some damage on him. Uh, we'll attack the torso. Nope. Um, we can continue back and up. That's probably a mistake because he's, he's pushing me up against the other cliff. All right, let's, let's try it. Why? That shadow and bo blood attack is doing the exact opposite of what I want. I managed to get to the other side of him again. So I'm going to walk away. Okay, that hurt a lot. We're going to have to heal. We'll use our photosynthesis to heal um defend can blood and dust there we go that finally worked the way i wanted it to now hamstring him hopefully that slows him down a little bit he's stressed and resting up uh this is great let's try a power attack let's risk it nope 
Usually, uh, I should not go for the power attacks. Nice. Okay, that, that worked out well. We'll blood and dust away a little bit. Oh, he healed. Um, let's do just like a quick attack. Wow. It did not go the way I wanted it. Oh my god. Okay, let's jump over him. This is going to be close. It's going to be real close. Uh, never mind. Oh, that was that was really close. A tankard in your honor. Okay. I must I must give him some money. All right, so we'll have to we'll have to grind up a little bit before we uh before we take up uh take him on again and apparently i don't know this grappling ability i don't know if it's worth using an entirely other skill to um to use grapple it seems like it can jump over him just so fine so why don't we go ahead and reset our talents oh that costs a lot of stars so just to get one talent back uh, i think I'll, I'll pass on that actually um I don't know if that was a talent. That was a skill. Um, I kind of do wish I could like sell my skills or something. Uh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so let's just take on another opponent. Are you ready to challenge the regional champion? No, unfortunately not. Um, I am trying to save up enough. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm high enough level that I can uh, apply that poison rune to our um, our bow, but I, I need I need some more money to make it happen. So I'll do another pause here until I, I think I'm ready to take on the champion. All right. So it it, it is it has admittedly not been very long, um, but I put a rune on our do on our on our weapon, and I have leveled up a couple times. And uh, I should be good. We'll see. I mean, it was, it was a really close combat. I also increased our chance of actually hitting, um, which is a stat I probably should put some more points into. Uh, might make it so that I actually land more of my, my shots. Okay. I also increased our chance of winning initiative, but uh, that's, that's pretty hilarious. Okay, 66%. That was a good um, first hit, honestly. We have a holy heal. This seems to be random every time. It seems like sometimes it's holy heal, sometimes it's holy smite. Um, but that's, you know, I'm not sure if I understand it. Uh, I was hoping that that wasn't going to be right up against the edge. Let's do our uh, hamstring. 90% chance there. Oof. Defend, thank God. We could have lost it right there. Let's jump over them. Not sure what that did, but um, blood uh, shadows and dust. There we go. I don't know what's wrong with shadows and dust. It seems to be not working as intended. Seems like sometimes it goes towards them and sometimes it, it goes away from them, um, which is like we want away from them. Uh, yeah. So I, I mean, I really don't have a lot of options if they like keep going up against me like this. And my shadows and dust keeps not doing the thing I want it to do. <laughs> then I'm kind of uh, yeah. I really don't have like a lot of options if I if I can't um, put some distance between me and them. Hamstring is great because if it lands, it is because it does slow them down and it also pushes them back a little bit. Let's go ahead and jump over them. And shadow and dust away. There we go. Oh, he he did some a nasty hit on us. Um, maybe I'm still not ready for this guy. Ah, I really wish he would stop lunging towards me. All right, let's jump over him again. Oh, that was almost like a backflip. That was kind of cool. Still can't shadow and dust, so we'll walk away. Just walk away. All right, so we're going to have to use our photosynthesis. I haven't actually done any damage to this guy, and he killed me. Okay, so we're definitely not ready for this guy yet. I'll be back soon enough. All right, I, I, I have to believe... That now this is the time I've got a whole new set of armor I've got uh, better damage better better everything leveled up a few times this is it We've, we're, we're gonna do it this time look at my power score it's it's so much bigger and that's absolutely what determines who wins right right nice we even got our advantage on the initiative We'll start with a blood and dust that actually did what it was supposed to do. We're going to start by hamstringing him. 
<clears throat> chance of critical it didn't it did not go through don't jump forward oh my god he jumped forward um okay well i still don't really have a good method of dealing with this ouch oh my god uh, please stop all right um i'm gonna need to heal at some point but for now let's try this uh, doesn't well it it does 142 damage. So, like, hamstring... Knockback and slow them down. The hamstring is really the best if I can pull it off. But the problem is, is this guy's got... The guy's got armor, you know? He's got armor. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Ouch. I don't know what... Uh, immolated. Oh, God. So he's got a, a cool bow, too. We almost did a back flip through the air. That was kind of cool. The shadows and dust that actually did what it was this, what it was supposed to do, which is great. Um, let's do a photosynthesis now, because I, I sense that I'm going to need the extra health. Uh, we can't do anything else, so I'm going to walk backwards. All right, he did. He he flubbed his jump a little bit. That's great. Can we use? We can use hamstring. All right, perfect. Nice. We're actually doing some damage now. Defend. Fantastic. Um. We can shadow and dust, but I don't feel good about doing it this close to the cliff. So we'll jump around first and then we'll shadow and dust. Wow, it's okay. So it's not working again. Definitely, I think that there's a bug where, like, if you end up jumping too close to your, uh, you know, your enemy, then um, they, they, you get, like, kind of caught in, in limbo. So I'm going to try and do a nice big leap. And that worked out well, actually. Now we hamstring him. He healed. It slowed him down quite a lot. Attack the torso. Um, back up. There we go. He, I've slowed him down enough that I can actually, like, hamstring. Hamstring, once it finally lands, it actually does do some good stuff for us. Can we use it? We can, we can hamstring him again. Absolutely. Absolutely keep hamstringing him. Whoa, that was a big jump. Can we... We can't shadows and dust yet, so we'll back up. Ouch. Oh, please. I'm so close. Holy heal. No, don't don't holy heal. We can't hamstring him. We can't do it. So we'll, we'll just have to hit him with a quick attack. Um, Can we... We can hamstring him now. Let's do that. And we poisoned him. We poisoned him with my cool bow. Attack torso. Yes! Yes! We did it! Nice! My dude did a little flip. Got a lot of XP. You are the champion! So, uh, here's the here's the, the issue with me covering this game, is that there's still so much more to, like, look at, and I haven't even come close to, to checking it all out. I know there's like Colosseum stuff and uh, I know there's more stuff with it to do with adventures and we haven't really looked at forging weapons or anything like that. We invite you to travel to the arena uh, at Doom Trek to challenge the first of the Grand Champions. From this day onward, you may now compete against the Grand Champions when you feel powerful enough. Defeat all 12 of them and you shall be the great Sentinel chosen to represent Tritonia against the Starbone, Starbound Gladiator. That's the guy. That's uh, Frieza. To be teleported straight to the arena. So we could uh, let's have a quick look at the arena, and then I might call it there. Um, but certainly, all of the systems that were not not finished yet when I first looked at the game have been implemented, which is really good. There's a, a great sense of progression, a lot of kind of layering mechanics to help you, um, you know, kind of improve and progress your character. Uh, different, let's let's just do attack this time so we can uh, increase our chance of, of actually landing a blow. I've been doing this combat ready. I like the combat ready. I like getting that first attack in. But um, let's, let's do some more bow mastery. There's a ton of skills. I'm really not taking advantage of a lot of them. But um, I think you are meant to kind of like, you know, double, triple, and quadruple down on them. I don't know who this guy is yet. I haven't met that guy. So let's have a quick look at Doom Trek. Enter portal for eight stars. Okay. It costs me nothing except eight stars. Yo, this is a Magic the Gathering card art right here. That's some really nice art. Art! Grand Champion. Oh, God. Okay. 
So very, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to take this guy on. I didn't realize what I was signing myself up for, but he's got a really cool hat. All I'm going to say is he's got a really cool hat and I want that hat. If you win, you get his hat. No. Yeah, he's almost double my uh, power score. This isn't going to go well. But maybe at the very least, there's no cliffs for me to fall off. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm going to get brutally murdered in this uh, in this fight, and then I'll probably end, end this. Let's try it. Whoa! He can, like, pull me towards him? Maybe I ought to take some... Uh, learn some magic. Also, his health is absurdly bigger than mine. Let's jump, backflip away. And then um, maybe we can actually do some damage to this man. Nope. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not sure why I, how I thought that was going to go. Um, we can't use skills now, so let's just hit him. Oh my god. <laughs> What what happened? He looked sad. He looked sad. What is this music? It's kind of wild. Ice. Okay, he actually landed a blow and it killed me in one hit. Oh my god, and he murdered me. Oh my god. He was like, nah, dude. No sparing for you. Luckily, there is no permadeath in this game, at least not unless you set, uh, like, ask for it. Um, which, you know. I'm going to be honest with you, Gladiator. You took quite a beating out there at Doom Trick Arena. Arena so Captain Seabelt is a great warrior, much tougher than those regional pretenders you've been fighting. The automatons were wrong to allow you to fight him so soon. You weren't ready, not by half. Still, you've returned in one piece, and you're standing right in front of me. It's, you've got guts. I like that. Don't give up. You'll get, get your chance. A word of advice, don't rush to fight him again so soon. Seems like a funny thing to say with the end of the world approaching, but we still have time. Let's hit the open road and get some more experience for you. Uh, wise, wise and sage words, you know. Uh, I, I didn't realize I was signing myself up to fight uh, such a strong opponent. It seems like this, uh, that maybe there's an adventure over here because it's got like a, a map icon. So let's check that out. New items are available at the shop. You've arrived at what? An ostentatious, ostentatious woman with a large flamberge uh, wants to hire your services to take down a rare feral beast. Assist the woman. Roll a die at least a 10. Oof, God. A rivalry quickly forms as your large egos clash. You bicker about the best way to kill the beast so much that it escapes the both of you, leaving you with nothing. Lose some charisma. Oh, and intellect. Okay, I just lose. <laughs> I just lose both. My goodness. Okay. Well, we'll go to Gallows Stone. That seems to me like a uh, level 10 area. And we'll do the adventure. Why not? Working your way through the unassuming stalls of Gallows Stones, uh, Greater Market Square. Your browsing is interrupted by the appearance of a unique individual clad in a sapphire blue shawl flower-laced sandals, and a silver bracelet. The man's choice in fashion looks simultaneously striking and incredibly cheap. He makes a clear effort to stumble over to you as if to, uh, walking for the first time before resigning to fall in a pile of nearby uh, baskets. Forcing back the laughter bubbling in your throat, you indulge his determination by asking what he wants. Clambering up again, he launches into some sort of spiritual lecture to which you just uh, smile and nod repeatedly. Um, abruptly the man shouts, fantastic, snapping you out of your half-wake stupor. It's always hard to find new members these days. You attempt to correct the misunderstanding, but find yourself being dragged along by the sleeve with a surprising force. Before you can get another word in, uh, the two of you have already arrived outside a large dome-shaped building. Many similarly dressed men and women are shuffling in through the dome's narrow entrance. Welcome to the convent. Your unwanted companion remarks, turning to you with a simple smile. Just head right in, on in and pick a, sm a spot to relax. All right, go along with the charade and see what eventu uh, eventuates. Conceding the curiosity, the, you funnel into the building with everyone else. The moment you step through the doorway, it feels as if you've traveled to another world. Opening up before you is a vast, dark space, seemingly much larger, larger than what the exterior suggests. Despite the absence of windows, the veil of shadow is pierced by an array of luminous crystals etched into the walls. 
Washes of blue light dance across the ceiling, reflected from a pool of crystal water in the room center. Awestruck, you plop yourself onto one of the la lavish cush uh, cushions laid out as a lady begins addressing the group. Greetings to you, my fellow truth seekers, she calls out. It brings me joy to know we have so many keen minds anxious to unravel the mysteries of the world. You scoff quietly, casting a glance at the dim-looking individuals to your left and right. Now, if you, th if this is your first time here, the woman continues, all you need to do is relax and listen to the choir as they read their scriptures. My assistants will be carrying around some incense to help with the process. With that, the woman gives a nod and a few members begin a sort of rhythmic chanting. Shrugging, you close your eyes and try focusing on the atmosphere. It doesn't take long for you to drift into thought, and while normal at first, your mind swiftly turns to more abstract concepts. There's a lot of this. You ponder the meaning of life, death, in the ethereal plane, and then something clicks, uh, ideas you'd never even considered start unfolding before you. Magical theory, more philosophies, the fundamentals of elements. It is as if your mind had been uh, had opened a floodgate and you were swimming in a whirlpool of knowledge, but there was another sensation circling in, the, in this tide. With every piece of information consumed, it became clear how obsolete you were in the grand scheme of the universe. A crawling existential horror begins to choke you. Just as you be, you are being dragged into the maw of madness, a racking pain rips you from the nightmare. Bathed in sweat and clutching your now aching chest, you sit up stiffly, trying to regain feeling in your limbs. As your vision clears, you can make out the figures of some other members thrashing about on the floor beside you. You stagger to your feet and look around the room only to see everyone else enthralled and violent spasms. Gripping, gripped by panic, you rush over to the oldest person and try shaking them awake. Instead of opening his eyes, the man's head snaps backward as writhing, fleshy tendrils emerge from his mouth. You scramble away in horror as more tendrils erupt from the man's chest, arm, and legs. Suppressing the urge to vomit, you rush towards the exit as the sickening sounds of tearing flesh and cracking bones echoes all around you. You burst out of the building and don't stop running till you've cleared the city gates. Exhausted, you collapse under a tree, too terrified to let yourself sleep. The tide of thoughts has subsided, but there is still a cosmic whispering at the back of your mind, and you cannot block out its voice. So we lose some vitality and gain intellect. Honestly, a lose-lose. <laughs> we don't really want intellect, unless I get into magic, and I don't think I do want to get into magic. It, it seems like it might be a good idea, but, um, I don't know. More options is better, I suppose. By the ocean of turbulence, it's you, world fa uh, travels fast, friend. Already travelers tell of the gladiator who defeated the champions at both Willard Sound and Shackleford. I am Halgrax, formerly of the planet Cycladia. Now I call Pilthia my home. This is my tavern on wheels, the rolling barrel. Since the automatons returned, I have been uh, traveling the realm in this humble wagon, offering my wares. I have to assume a lot of these are references from the previous games that I do not know much about and uh, therefore cannot relate but um you know i appreciate the the kind of world building and it definitely has a sense of like i don't know deep lore why walk when you can get around on a noble steed now you're powerful enough to deserve something something i did skip through that i'm assuming they're alluding to the fact that i could potentially get a horse and therefore uh travel would would be better so you can do alterations um it doesn't look like oh i see i can Changed the way I look. Wait, this costs money? Like, stars? Why would I do that? I'd have to have, like, so much stars that it would never be worth it. Seems to me, uh, so he sells, like, items that we can use in combat. Or he can, indeed, sell us a steed at 25,000. My goodness. I'm wondering if we can enchant our, um our bow multiple times like i put one bow on it no i guess we, we can't even buy any bows until like level 20 but they do sell blueprints take this the this to the armor to forge new blueprints okay okay nice all right let's uh try that that's uh I, I did want to try out the uh, the forging mechanic before before i ended this so yeah we can um I guess apply one of these, uh, apply that to, to some of our uh, uh, equipment. But it costs gold that we don't have. I'm assuming I will gain some more gold at a, a bit more of a rapid pace. But uh, yeah, we can apply it to like our, our bow and I guess to our armor as well. Like if I applied it to maybe everything, 
then maybe we'll just like, like have a ton of att extra attack. Seems like a strange thing to do if you're, you know, have the option of buying new armor. But maybe doing that is actually cheaper than buying the next set of armor. And we do have like all of our companions now. So, um, or at least I assume we do. So, uh, you know, we, we have a kind of a grasp of most of the major mechanics. There may be some surprises as well, but um, that's, that's fine. I, I'd rather leave a few surprises uh, if you are thinking of picking this game up so that's gonna do it for um why, why did we sleep or that's gonna do it for swords and sandals immortals uh i really like this game i still think that there's a, a couple of things that it could um could use some polishing there i there seems to be uh seems to me there's a there's a couple of bugs that could definitely use a little bit of a polish out um but uh either way i like the mechanics a lot in this game and i like the depth and um, I, I definitely see myself playing a lot of this in my off time. I wouldn't mind, uh, I, I don't know, like it seems to me like they're, um, this game could probably work on mobile, which wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if it, if there are, if it isn't already on mobile or if there are plans to put it on mobile, something I should probably check before I do these kind of videos. But I wouldn't mind um, seeing this game get a Steam Deck uh, update. Let me just see if it actually has Steam Deck compatibility um and it looks like not really i don't think it does i definitely don't see it having great steam deck compatibility but it, it, from the uh, from the look at the uh steam store page it doesn't look like it does but uh this is the kind of thing i'd love to play on the deck just like a really easy it looks like there's a dungeon crawling mini game what the heck i kind of missed that I wouldn't mind, <laughs> I wouldn't mind at least seeing that, you know, in, in my session. But either way, um, that's my phone. Uh, thank you very much, phone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time for some more uh, indie games. I'll take it easy.